All right, and we are live. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. I'd like to wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day. I hope you have a great day and spend it with somebody you love, whether that's family, relationship, what have you. I hope you enjoy the day regardless and see it as a day just maybe to be nice to somebody. You never know what could spring. So, with that being said, I have a video that I wanted to do based on a video I did a couple of days ago. Um, I did a similar video about what I thought was the most undervalued Silver Age comic in Marvel Comics. And then people were asking if I could give DC a little love, so I thought that was appropriate and not a problem to do. So I have that for you with what I value, in my opinion, is the most undervalued Bronze Age comic in DC. Now, of course, I'm not an expert on DC. I collect mostly Marvel. Doesn't mean I hate DC at all. Just means I always preferred Marvel. So I'm not going to be an extreme expert as far as every DC comic out there. So you might have a difference of opinion. But uh, that's the beautiful part about this because once this video uploads, if you think there are comics that you feel, whether they're Marvel, whether they're DC or independent, that you think people should be looking into, um, be I'm basically more than happy to have people share their thoughts. Uh, but I want to welcome people. There's a lot of people. I wasn't expecting this many. So let's give quick shout outs to people who arrive early. Horror Breakdown, Welcome, Retro Collective. Uh, collected, Lewis, John Alfonso, Stacy, Comic Head, British at Heart, like the name, Bobby, Sharif, Holy Man. Oh, we have a priest in here. Very nice. Noah, the Punisher's here, ladies and gentlemen, so we better behave. Uh, Luck E, I like it. Read comics. Welcome, everybody. Gizmo is here. Hopefully, everybody's enjoying their Valentine's Day. Um, I really wasn't going to make a video today because, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, I have now lost my third DJ job in two weeks. So I'm um, trying to do something to keep myself in a little bit upper spirit at the moment. So please bear with me with that. So uh, I lost all of my DJ jobs except for the new one I'm about to start next week. So fingers crossed and we'll see what happens. But I thought instead of moping around and just making my wife have to deal with my... Um, bad mood, I thought I'd make a video and help you guys out and do something with it. You know, like they say, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. So that's what I'm going to do. So let me put on the video so you can see. Uh, I'm actually going to show two books. And obviously, when you see the first one, you will understand why. And don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. Um, obviously, with a live show, I'm not going to verify. So you don't have to be a subscriber. But hopefully, after watching this or any of my videos, you are so inclined to hit the subscribe button. Like buttons are always for my power viewers and people who appreciate what I try and do. And no, these books I'm, I'm showing are not being sold by me. So I'm just showing my opinion on them. I'm not trying to beef something up so I can turn around and take advantage by selling them to you. So if you're looking for these books, you won't find them from me. Now, um, if you go on somewhere like eBay, um, make sure you um, sign up for the cashback program. If you have not, uh, this month they're not doing any additional cashback for eBay, but Amazon they are, so you could also look on Amazon. But if you've never signed up for it before... If you spend $25 or more within the first 90 days, you get $10 cash back. It also helps me. So in this time, um, if anybody can sign up, the link is in the description. So thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Now, let's show the comics of what I think. Um, basically, they're going to be ones that you should get both. Sometimes people ask things about, well, you know, between like a cameo appearance and a full appearance, which book you should get. Well, I tell people, get both. This way you don't have to worry. Some books, there's multiple cameos. Like, for example, um, the first appearance of Mary Jane Watson. She has multiple um, cameos, then a full appearance. So it can get rather confusing sometimes. So sometimes it's based on popularity. And this is one of those exceptions to the rules. So let me show the books and I'll explain basically what kind of prices you could get. And here we go. So the first one. This is, in my opinion, if you are a DC lover, um, even if not, this is a great comic to have in your collection. This is Jimmy Olsen, issue number 134. 
Now, this is the more popular of the two. Now, obviously, if you collect comics, you're probably going to know the other book I'm about to show, but I don't want to assume everybody that's watching this knows everything about comics. I mean, this could be your first video. This could be your first comic you've ever seen. So I don't want to assume you know everything about comics. So this right here is the first cameo appearance of Darkseid. Uh, this came out in 1970. Now, normally, like you see with Hulk 181, with um, all other comics, for the most part, the full appearance tend to be the more desirable. This one is one of those exceptions to the rules. Now, as you'll see with the other comic that I will show, neither one of them show the character on the cover. So it's not the cover. And uh, both titles are not really mainstream popular. So it's not that. Uh, the artwork, I mean, you have Jack Kirby as the artist on it. So it's, it's I mean... It's basically people made the decision that this is the more valuable one. Now, as far as GoCollect.com, um, you could get between a 4.0 and a 5.0 of this book roughly for about $150 at this current point. Um, I bought this years ago. I paid $59 for this book. This is probably a 6.0 to a 6.5 range. So you're probably going to spend more than I did because this was a book I was telling people to get years ago. But I still feel, even at that price, if you can get this book for under $100, absolutely worth getting. So here's the second book, and I'm sure many people have already predicted what it is. And uh, James Harvey, uh, Hardy, you're correct. This is Forever People, issue number one. This is actually the first um, full appearance of Dark Side. And again, I mean, it's forever people. Most people wouldn't even know what this comic was if it wasn't for this major appearance. Now, this book, you can get about a 7.0 for that same $150 price. So, DC movies, the DCU is starting to get back on track. I mean, um, remember, they did make some awesome Batman movies a couple of years ago. So, you know, it's not like every DC movie has been bad. They just had a bad run for a little while when they were trying to catch up with Marvel instead of developing the characters. So they're trying to right that train a little bit. So I think if they take their time with it, there's just a matter of time before Darkseid becomes part of their, you know, DC universe. I mean, that's one of their main villains. I mean, they have a lot of others. You know, they have, uh, of course, the Joker. You have Brainiac. You have so many others you can go with. But Darkseid, I think, would be very important for them to show, especially knowing that Thanos, you know, did very well in the MCU. I think it's just a matter of time. Now, the advantage of these is, is most people are not talking about these. There are, at best, speculations and rumors that Darkseid might show up in a movie. So that's keeping these prices relatively low. So if you know how things go once something gets announced... Everybody all of a sudden gets an instant demand on a book or a character and then floods the market, prices rise, and you end up spending more money. So the beautiful thing about comic books is it's not like buying milk. It doesn't expire. I mean, obviously this is made of paper and if you don't treat it right, it can get damaged and can eventually get destroyed. But what I'm saying is if you buy these a couple of years too early... Who cares? Because you're spending less money. Because on this book, I spent a total of $44 for this book. This book is easily a 7.0 to a 7.5 range. And like I was just saying, that'll cost you about $150 now. Now, obviously, on eBay, you can always ask for deals and try and wait for deals. But uh, these are two books from such a major DC character that is, unless DC falls off the rails may eventually appear. Now, obviously, I say may because there are no guarantees. So remember, if you are buying comics just for speculation and investments, and if you could tell by the videos that I make, my highest viewed videos are the ones about speculation, keep in mind there are always risks. So that's why I tell people you're taking your chance. So to me, I bought these back around 2014, 2015, 2016, when I already heard rumors, or even before that, knowing that it could happen eventually. So the idea is to beat the game. Why spend more money on these when you don't have to? Because now, 
what I paid for both of these, people will not even be able to get for the same price in a lower grade for one. So these are books, if that happens, and again, I cannot stress enough, if it happens, where Dark Side ends up in a movie, what do you think is going to happen to this book? I'll ask anybody whether you're watching this live now or watching it days, weeks, or months later. This is the first full, uh, cameo appearance and the first full appearance of Darkseid. If Darkseid ends up in a movie, do you think, A, the value of these will go down, B, the value of these will stay the same, or C, do you think the value of these will go up? It should be a no-brainer which one you choose. So my thing is, why spend two, three, four hundred dollars for these books once an announcement has been made, if it's made, when you can buy them now and take the chance? And the beautiful thing is, you know, remember, comic books are great to read. So even if it ends up not being in a movie, first of all, you still have a major DC character. I mean, if you don't know Darkseid, you don't know DC. So you have a book that you can read and enjoy. So my thing is, if you're going to buy something you enjoy, why spend more money when you don't have to? And unfortunately, most people in the community have been geared to go towards what I call the flavor of the month. That's why you'll see many channels out there that will talk about the brand new book that's hot. It'll steam up for a little while, and then it fizzles out after a while. I mean, how many of you right now are searching for the first Cosmic Ghost Rider, for Weapon H, for the... Um, the the red goblin you know these are things that yes you could turn around if you're one of those people you could buy it low turn around for a quick sale and then you know sell it and get rid of it before it fizzles out but how many people are really discussing those right now there's a reason why classics are classics so at the very least these are great reads these are things where you can get to see the first time a character has been introduced so also keep that in mind, and uh, Read Comics made a perfect response. Red Goblin, he puts, ah. Uh. So there you go. But a couple, about a year ago, Red Goblin was the hot thing. Everybody wanted those books. Now no one cares about it anymore. And that's the problem with going with the hype and going with emotion and having somebody tell you, oh, this brand new book is going to end up making you retire and go to college. You know, when I was a kid back in the 90s, well, I can't even say kid because I was in my late teens, early 20s, um, you know, we were told the death of Superman and the beginnings like Spawn number one and Young Blood number one and all those books and the Valiant books, you know, you're going to retire off those. How did that work out for you? So think of it like music. There's a reason why they call certain music classics. You know, Beatles will never be old. Frank Sinatra will never be old. Led Zeppelin will never be old. It's a classic for a reason. Billy Joel will never be old. But some of this newer stuff out there, you know, it may be popular for a little while, but it's going to fizzle out and nobody's going to care about it after a while. So when it comes to books, first of all, make sure you buy what you love. If you are buying something purely on speculation, you better make sure you do the research to make sure that you are getting as close to a guarantee of success as you can. Otherwise, if you lose money on a book and you didn't buy it because you were enjoying it or you were happy with it, you just wasted your money on a bunch of paper. So there's many reasons to collect comics. Don't ever let anybody tell you your way is the wrong way, even if it's not popular, even if it's not what everybody else says you should do. Be your own individual. Make sure you do your own research. You can watch other people's videos to get information, but never use one video, including my own, to make a sole decision on something you should do. You should do your own research. You should make sure you, you purchase things that make you happy. If you want to do it for investment purposes, you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. I've had people tell me that I am the, you know, the plague of the comic book community and stuff because I talk about investments. You know, if, I guarantee you, go on somebody's video channel that only talks about reading a, of a book. I guarantee you, it's probably got about 50 views on it. Most people don't care about it. That's the reality. This video is going to get more views than a video that I did just showing a generic run of comics. So, you know, people can pretend to hit that higher horse or understand that there's nothing wrong with investing in comics because it keeps people's interest in the community. If all the people that invested in comics disappeared, there'd be a lot of money gone. And that would mean that products would suffer, which means the things that you love would not be able to be made. There is a reason why capitalism works, and it works in the comic book community as well. 
Unfortunately, most people don't want to deal about anything other than their emotions. And as you can see, why the world's going so crazy these days, emotions really have nothing to do with facts, research, and knowledge. So use those things. So these are the two books. Once again, we have Jimmy Olsen 134, which is the first cameo appearance. This is the more desirable one, even though it's the cameo. And then we have Forever People issue number one, which is his first full appearance. I would recommend people get both. Hold on to them and see what happens. And in the meantime, take them out of the bag and board. Give them a read. You never know. You might become a Jimmy Olsen or a Forever People fan. And if that happens... Well, you're just going to enjoy comics even more. So today's surprise subscriber shout-out, I am going to go with... I like the name, so I'm going to go with Luck E. And his comment says Valiant Eek. Yeah, I feel your sentiment with that. Thank you so much for listening. Um, remember, if you get these on eBay or anything, please sign up for the cashback program. It helps me out. Um, it's free to do. You can get $10 cashback if you spend $25 or more. Uh, within the first 90 days so please do that by clicking the link in my description it'll help me in my situation of losing three of my four um, dj jobs um i want to thank everybody for the kind wishes i always appreciate the comments i hope everybody enjoys the rest of their valentine's day and uh don't forget it's not you it's not i it's we love comics i appreciate you taking the time to spend a little bit of it with me enjoy the rest of your day and uh be good to one another Happy collecting. I'll see you next video.